Okay, in this episode, we're cleaning a bunch of area rugs. We're going to pre-vacuum everything with the Hoover Hush Tone. You can see what I do is I stack the rugs, smaller ones, on the bigger ones so they don't move. I've got the Swirly 175 floor machine. I got my headlamp mounted on there with a piece of Velcro. I'll show you that. It's got those chargeable batteries, so I charge it up. It works fantastic. I've got my, I call them wheel booties. <laughs> they're just, uh, I think they're nine inch bonnets that you use on a orbital, orbital car polisher. I cover the wheels when I bring my machine into some homes. You can see there's one, two, three, four stacked on top of that rug. This one's an all knotted unit. And then in that last room back there, I have a great big rug. You'll see that at the end. So here I am doing just the entry mat. It's similar to the one that it's on top of. And when I do on-site cleanings, I do not do the fringe. I just kind of spray it and go over it lightly. These fringes are not too bad on this particular one. I like to go both directions when they're pretty heavily soiled. This one's really ripping the dirt. So again, this is called a Swirly 175 rotary floor machine. It's actually foolproof. It's available at ncapstore.com. And when I say foolproof, if you're getting in the business, the price point's right. It's, I think it's about $1,359 for this model. Uh, under $1,500, I believe. As long as the prices have stayed about the same. I haven't checked it recently, but I know it's probably around under $1,500. Swirly floor machine without the pump, without the sprayer. It has a 2.5 gallon tank gravity feed. Excellent unit. It's got the bigger wheels already equipped, so you can take it up and down stairs. It's got a lift handle there on the front. And it's really simple. The actual armature behind it has a clip down on the bottom that you just pull the clip and you can take the handle off, throw it in the trunk of a car if you had to do that. But this is cleaning fantastic. I'm using Green Dragon at one ounce per gallon. I used my sprayer. I mixed it up in a jug and I sprayed it nice and good. I'm using a Iron Man pad, which is 100% cotton. Now the beauty of these pads, I'll show you how much soil it picked up. The beauty of these pads is that if you, when you look at it, it has kind of a rough bumpy edge to it. You see the back, all those lumps? So you really don't have to pre-scrub because this thing's agitating as it goes. You see that? Now, you only want to use these 100% cotton pads on a Malish pad driver. That's that bristle pad driver. You don't want to use it on Velcro. It'll just clog it up. This is one of the ones that I did earlier. You can see how beautiful the sun is drying it out. They've got this nice balcony here, so I put it up over that. But you can see the cleanliness of the fibers. This thing is just ripping the dirt. Where does the dirt go? It goes into the pad, which is called Soil Extraction Transfer Technology, or SET is the acronym. You are extracting the soil into the pad. So when they say, where does the dirt go? It goes into the pads. And there's zero residue, so anything that's left behind when that dries down, it'll dry down to a brittle crystal. It'll adhere to anything that may still remain in the carpet. Next to vacuuming, it all comes out. But look at these pads. Both sides, oh my goodness. So that is an Iron Man pad. Now, if you're using the Auric Orbiter and you're getting into this, you want to watch my previous videos. And then when you're able to step up a little bit and you got 1500 bucks or less, you can buy a rotary floor machine. You'll be able to do work a lot faster. Look at how the colors are popping on this. We didn't even know there was red on this. <laughs> 
beautiful. This is a beautiful home. We did that building down there at the far end, that ADU, additional dwelling unit. I think a week ago, I showed it. It has the bench in there. If you look back at my videos, you'll see that. But yeah, this thing's popping. Looks fantastic. Weather is nice. Now we'll do this bigger one here. Put my headlight on. Again, I pre-sprayed the carpet or the rug with the solution using my four gallon jug. I pre-mixed all of the Green Dragon, one ounce per gallon. The Green Dragon is an encapsulant cleaning solution. This is not encapsulation where you're just brushing it in and then letting it dry and vacuuming it up. You can do that, but this is pad capping. So I'm padding, extracting the soil. They refer to it as pad capping. So, and I'm using an encapsulating solution, the Green Dragon, which is safe for everything. These are all wool, all wool area rugs. Now, if you come in here and you start spraying something down that's a high alkaline and you clean it, it might look clean for a minute, but then it will get brittle, it'll start to fall apart, it'll turn brown, and you will have bought somebody a new rug. That's why I say, listen to the videos, and if you're starting out, don't go jump boldly off of the cliff by, you know, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there where people are using different products that might be a little, little harsh for something like this, so you wanna be really careful. Some of those guys are neutralizing it with something else, which is fine. They know what they're doing. They've been in business for a while. But for a new person, I would recommend a neutral uh, pH cleaner or definitely Green Dragon. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. I think there's another product called uh, Carpet Details. It's similar to Green Dragon. It works pretty much the same, save for all, all your different fibers. It costs quite a bit more, though, I think. You know, I... I get a five gallon jug or five gallon bucket and it seem I think it's almost seems like it's fifty to a hundred dollars cheaper than buying the carpet detail. I'm not sure. There's my van. Beautiful out here in the back of the the home. They've got a little garden area. Look at these beautiful trees. They call this the Evergreen State. Well, there you go. Very nice. So when she's done vacuuming, I'll be cleaning this one. I've already gone over it uh, vertically. Now I'm gonna come back and hit it horizontally. Flipped the pad over. And like I was explaining, you could do this with your auric orbiter if you're just starting out. You wanna use your green dragon, you wanna pre-spray your areas, if you have a tarp or something, I have my wife there with those uh, microfiber cloths to wipe up any overspray. You wanna be real careful with the overspray, especially on wood. Sometimes you're, what, what you're using, if you wet the wood, you could kind of lift the, if it has a polyurethane or someone's been using mop and glow or rejuvenate, Sometimes it'll loosen that up and start to flake. So always be careful. Don't overspray. If you got your tarp, put your tarp down. You can even cut the tarps into strips. And if you're spraying one side, just tuck it under one side, grab another strip, pull it out, tuck it under the other side. So just be cautious, but you could do it with the Oric Orbiter. If you look back at my side hustle videos, I think if you get the Oric Orbiter and you get started and you start doing a few jobs, save your money, reinvest in your business, and pick you up a swirly. You can find used 175 rotary machines, um, you know, anywhere from 100 bucks to 500 bucks. You know, you just want to make sure you're getting something that is of quality. 
And this one already has the tank for shower feeding. It's already got the big wheels for bringing it up and down stairs. You don't have to do any modifications to this. Very, very simple. There you go. I've got this all cleaned up. I'll take a look at this pad. Then we're gonna go to lunch and head to my third and final job of the day. Have a look at this. But this will give you some ideas if you're thinking of getting into the business. Watch a few of my other videos. You just saw what I did. Could you do that? A little vacuuming, a little spraying, and a little swirly, burly, swirly? <laughs> I think you can. So keep watching. I'll keep sharing, and I'll see you in the next one.